Yo, welcome to another installment of Noob Chess Analysis. Today we're going to be going over an accelerated dragon game. So I was black and uh, it's a Sicilian defense. So uh, we'll dig right in. There was a sexy queen destruction that you, you, you got to be careful about. You got to be very careful with your queen. So let's dig right in. I'm not going to go through every move for the uh, accelerated dragon, but I'll just go over the main idea here, which is basically to get your knight out quickly and then develop your bishop as quickly as possible. And basically what you're trying to do is it's called accelerated because your D pawn can go out to D5 in a single move instead of going um, up in within two moves. So that's why it's accelerated. Uh, that's basically all I know about <laughs> the Sicilian. I've probably played maybe 20 games so far with it, maybe a little more. But uh, I watched one video on it and have been testing it out, really liking it, mainly because this bishop. Once it gets up here, it's very, very dangerous. It's like a knife. It can just well, People really forget about it, especially at, at my level. People forget it's there and can really do destruction if that bishop comes out. Anyways, let's get into the game. I'm starting to go off on tangents here. He makes a, a early move down to e5, which I'm not too scared about because I'm going to be playing my bishop next, and that means I'm going to have two attackers on a single defended uh, pawn there, and then he pushes forward uh, in, an, uh, in an attempt to protect this pawn twice, but with that move, you can actually just take it. And also, uh, with the uh, with the dragon, whenever anyone plays d4, you're taking that. And this is just through the video I read, so I'm just telling you, <laughs> not from a ton of experience, but I know that rule. Whenever they play d4, you take it with your c-pawn. Also, it makes a lot of sense here because now he has to take back with his knight. He can't take back with his queen because then I just eat his queen. And when he takes with his knight, oops, when he takes with his knight here, he no longer is defending this pawn. So he takes and then I can take the pawn. It wanted me to take with the knight, but I don't, I don't really care. I do, it does make sense though, because once you bring it out, uh, if you want to protect this, this bishop, which is a very, very important bishop, you want to hold on to this bishop as long as you can, unless you're taking uh, a significant piece from your opponent, uh, it's a little tough because you have to spend another move going back here um, because you want to develop your knight too. But you have to get your bishop back protected before you develop your knight. Anyways, he takes, which is nice because I just um, secure my pawns and uh, it's okay. I'm up by a pawn as well, so I'm okay trading there. Uh, and then, yes, he, he comes out with his queen, and he's making a, uh, it's an aggressive move, and I'm guessing his next move is going to be a bishop out here, and he's going to try, I don't even know what it's called, but that, uh, he's basically going to try to get a checkmate on me. So I uh, pull my bishop back just to save that piece, knowing that he'd likely throw the bishop out, which he did do, but that's okay, you can defend that really easily. I mean, there's two ways. Uh, one would just be to push your pawn up, but then it kind of weakens these uh, dark squares, which isn't great. And then next, you can just throw your knight up, right? Because the knight comes down here. He can't go here because you just take with the, the queen. So it's a good defense there, and he can't really do much. Uh, he So he's putting more pressure here, which is it's looking a little dangerous, actually. Um, I'm not... I, I was a little worried. So, uh, yeah, the, the, here's where the accelerated dragon came in. Um, you notice, right, that uh, there's a a fork here. So a nice fork, and you get to use the accelerated dragon. Um, now, there is a way out of this fork, which he, he picked up on, uh, which is for him to just take my knight, and that's actually with check. So I can't. Um, take the bishop. I actually just have to take here. And it is defended by my pawn, so uh, not too worried. But it does allow him to move his bishop out of the way. Uh, and then next I throw in a check, which is good, but I guess not great. Let's just actually go over the analysis tab here. Uh, and uh, it's good. I mean, 
not a huge difference. The main, the main thing is, yeah, he can just block it here, but then it undefends this piece. Um, or yeah, or he can throw the bishop in, which is what he did, which is, it's a good move. And I, you know, I'm honestly, when I looked at this, I was like, should I move here, here, or here? And well, obviously not there. Should I move here or here? Uh, and for whatever reason, I thought this, um, I thought they were both undefended. Sometimes I forget at my level that this bishop is actually defending this. So I did go there. Um, it's, I mean, obviously it's not an under attack, so not a huge deal. Um, uh, but yeah, the best move would have been here where you're attacking a undefended piece and he'd probably just push out, but, um, it would, it would force him to uh, react. Anyways, he makes a blunder here. It's actually a mistake, but um, by doing this, I actually have two attackers here and he only has one defender. So I can take with my bishop. He has to take here and then I can take with my queen with check. So now he's not castling. So this is, this is a tough one for him. Uh, he goes down, obviously. Uh, the best move, if he, if he went anywhere else, I mean, we're getting, getting that rook there. So he's got to go down. He sees that. Um, now this is a very important moment though, extremely important. And the whole point of this video is this next move. So whenever you see the queen pin, a possible pin to the king, and you have a piece that can do the pinning, you want, you want to be aware of that, right? So I have, I have my white squared bishop. And he's on white squares with his queen and king. Now, if I just threw this up here now, obviously that's not going to, well, it will pin him, but not successfully because he can just take back, right? So we have to defend this square before we pin. And we have to do it hoping that he doesn't see this pin, right? And at this level, most, I mean, sometimes they see the pin, but uh, it's sneaky enough that I was hoping I could get this through. Uh, so... Really, I mean, you could throw it here, right? And you'd be def defending that. But I went for the pawn move. So uh, h-pawn up to h5. And what that does is defend this square. It doesn't look crazy either. That's, I don't know. It just looks like, okay, what was that move, right? Like, hmm, he wasn't putting together that, yeah, that's going to be a pin on your, your queen, buddy. So... Anyways, he didn't see it. He wants to get his uh, rook out, it looks like. He probably wants to manually castle. And yeah, that, that hurts. That's a queen, a queen destroyer. That bishop is dirty. That is a dirty bishop just out to destroy your queen. So all he can do here is take. I take back and he's down a lot at this point. He's down quite a lot. Um, and, you know, I didn't see this. I didn't see that pawn hanging, so I just instead um i castled which i don't know i was just trying to connect my rooks but i i and at this point when it's end game it doesn't really matter right like i had this open h file uh he doesn't have a queen to like swoop in and cause a lot of trouble so i didn't really have to castle there i, I just did it i had a ton of time too but uh, i was up by so much i just made the move it's not a huge deal uh, but then he makes a pretty big blunder uh, by just, he saw the open pawn. So actually it was a nice little tempting move because by doing this, it leaves an undefended pawn. He saw it and took it, not realizing that uh, I can take his rook. And basically uh, at this point, he, he comes back, I take his pawn. Uh, and yeah, at this point he, he resigned. So anyways, uh, big thing here. Well, first two reasons why I made this video. First one, I have not done a, an accelerated dragon video. I've never done any Sicilian video. Usually it's a, the London, but I, on, when I'm black now, I'm definitely going for Sicilian accelerated dragon every single time. So we might be seeing more dragon videos out of me here, hopefully. And then secondly, just be aware. Whenever you can see a pin, a possible pin, just look out for that. Um, and yeah, that sneaky move right there. Uh, you know, it didn't, it didn't raise the res, the red flag when it should have, and it costs him pretty dearly. All right. That's it from me. Check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash yo I stream sometimes. So yeah, catch me out, uh, shoot me a follow, like the video, subscribe, all that stuff. 
trying to grow this channel. So thank you. Have a good one.